bear now. It used to be Wolverine. That looks like a Wolverine. See? <clears throat> looks like You're a small He's bear. not looking, but it kind of looks like a Wolverine. Wolvie. I'm pretty sure it's Wolverine. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. Tonight, we've got Sith on the back deck of Heights by Mighty Sports. <laughs> Sup, bitches? <laughs> gonna take a look at a beer that was sent to us by Beer Gee. Beer Gee's Reviews. We're gonna take a look at Dulcielle's Rescus Alt Beer. This comes in at 5.3% ABV. It is a German style red ale. It's an alt beer, red? if you will. It's an alt beer. That? Is it, you have a red ale? Yeah. Red ale's usually red lager. an Irish style. Red lager. No. Well, it's, it's, like a, it's a lagered ale. The hell is that? Yeah, I, okay. Well, I mean, alt beer, yes. Red, red lagered ale. Hear that, right? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that thing uh, is. <laughs> it doesn't say, it doesn't have any English on here, and I'm not going to bother with the French, but yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's an alt beer, German style alt beer. It's like a lagered ale. Treated, it's basically fermented light with, with ale yeast, top fermented yeast, and then it's uh, cellared. Aged it's like a lager. Aged like a lager in, in cellar. So, yeah, this beer sent to me by Beer Guy. I've had this for three months now, I think, and I think he bought it two months before that. <laughs> Thank you for sending us this particular beer there, Guy. Thanks, Guy. Don't be a D-bag. Drink from the bottle. Yeah, I'm not drinking. Because I'm a D-bag. D-bags. You're welcome to drink from the bottle. I'll drink from the bottle. Sweet. Uh, of course, I'm going to want to look at your glass. Wow, that actually looks really nice. That Thin. Thin head, but you can probably kick some more up. <coughs> and head, whitish, uh, whitish head. What, what, what you're kicking up from it? it looks darker than like the one that really reminds. This one really reminds me of it's is nice like uh, copper. Oh, what's Otter Creek's copper ale? This looks a lot darker. Looks like a, red a little bit darker than it, but it, of course it's dark outside. So that look, that's redhead hair. That's redhead here? That's natural redhead hair. Redhead shit bed. No. That Ginger that has no soul. Gingers have souls. They have a soul for every. They have a freckle for every soul they steal. This one goes out the stew. Ginger stew. And a nice looking beer. That's a pretty looking copper ale. That, yeah, that's. Well, not so much copper ale, but alt beer. Looks like a good alt beer. Let's get a sniff. Smells like an alt beer, too. Smells like a bit like that Belgian, that Saison that we just had. Got a little bit of, like, a small, slight caramel to it. Uh, a little bit of candy sugar. A little bit of candy. Euro funk. Not getting much not, funk. Not much, not much Euro funk, but a slightly herbal smell. <clears throat> I'm getting more funk from over there than from the beer. The funk going on. I used to mighty dance behind the camera. Quiet beer pants. <laughs> hey, beer pants. I start calling me beer pants because I spilled that saison on my pants. It smells, it smells good. I will give it to the smells like that really decent. And I, I expect pretty good things from Dune Seal. <laughs> no, really? Really? Yeah, is, this, really. is this that DDC stuff? Yeah. DC. Uh, not DDT, DDC. Who is the I, I st still maintaining, if you have it without me, I will hunt you down and stab you. The more I stir it <laughs> up, it, smell, it gets almost like a slowly bready smell. Not but really. It's actually really good. But maybe. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, down the hatch. Down the hatch. Here. Bigger, a little bit of bitterness, mixed in with like a roasted bitterness, and a nice amount of like a toffee flavor. A little bit of herbal hop note in the back, and very clean and easy to drink. This is really nice. Wow, that's really good. What do you think? Tasty. I'll say. That's pretty tasty. Wow. I mean, there's not a huge, like a huge malt character to it, but there is a little bit of sweetness to it. Oh, well, there's that. there's a whole lot of sweetness. This is and like this is like a party in my mouth. Toasted grain coming up the back, and a little that nice little bit of coffee. And wow. Oktoberfest in your mouth? Yeah, no. it's a bit like a Oktoberfest, but not quite. It's a little bit more crisp than that. Craftwork in your mouth? <laughs> Craftwork. But uh, it, they're it, robots. <laughs> It has something that, that I can't put my uh, robots. It, it does have something that, that I can't put my finger on. But it's a good something. It's not a bad something. The clitoris. Clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> have you found the clitoris? You'll have some pine. You'll have some pine. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, beer pants. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Alrighty, so that's a Rindy Adolf beer. And yeah. That. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. This is one yeah. of those beers which uh, I can honestly say I, I could I could sit back and and really just enjoy those for the entire evening. I could have that's a six pack of these fuckers. Too rich. Mm -hmm. okay, right. A little too rich to be enjoyed in quantities. Oh no, you see it is good though. But you, but take in mind you're you're talking to me who if I could I'd have doppel box or the, yeah, the double do doppel box every day. <laughs> I found that doppel box rich and hard to stomach. Oh I, I um, it's three, good, though. four, five. <laughs> this no is um, this is this tasty. is really, really tasty. For a Quebec beer specializing uh, in Belgians and stouts, it does an excellent German. Yeah. Kudos. The, the only thing I think is it's not as quite as light as an old beer, but that's the only thing I can think against this, and it's not really a thing against this because I love more flavor. Um, mm. That's really delicious. I'm going to give that a four. What do you think? I'm actually going to go four to five. Four to five. I'm really enjoying that. What did you give it, Heist? Uh, back in the day, I gave it a 3.75, but I don't know. Maybe I would revise it now that I've had something to compare it to. Okay. No, I'll stick with that. 3.75? 3.75. All right. Well, that sounds all right. Cool. Oops. So, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for knocking the camera around, drunk pants. Just call me Diego. Diego? <laughs> like your cat? Diego. Yeah, because he always attacks the tripod. <laughs> All right, he so didn't really attack that one that much. No. He's never had a chance to attack that one. Yes, he has. That's fine. Uh, uh, nine reviews ago. Oh. oh, right, back in like January or December or something. Anyway, yeah, it's not bad. Um, okay, so thanks for watching, folks. We'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.